Alrighty, thank you for choosing Crown Cypress Banners. Today I'm going to show you how to create a banner from a template. So, we're on our home page right now. What we're going to do from here is go ahead and click on Create Banner from Template. What that's going to do is it's going to bring up a whole bunch of different banner designs. You just go ahead and choose which one you want. There's tons and tons of different banners. There's multiple pages here. So just pick one that you want. I'm going to use this uh, Pokemon one here. The Cerulean Strikers. So this first window that's going to pop up is just a kind of a better view of what the banner looks like. Um, there's nothing you can really customize in this area it just kind of shows you more in depth what the banner is if you want to change anything on this banner whether it be you know players names whether it be clip art whether it be the team name any stuff like that we're gonna have to come up here to where it says you can customize this product and we're gonna have to go ahead and click on customize Because all of this is a template, there are a whole bunch of different layers already. There's text layers, there's clip art, there's tons of other things. Let's start with a team name. All right, let's go ahead and click on that. First off, if we want to change the team name here, what we need to do is first click on the team name, come over here to where it says edit text, click on that and then go ahead and change your team name. Let's change it to the Pokemon Masters. That's gonna go ahead and change the name. Alrighty, other than that, we have some other options here. We can choose to bold it, we can choose to italicize it, and we also have color options. So let's go ahead and change the inside of that to green. We'll change the outside to a darker green. Alrighty. You also have the option of changing to a different font here. There are more fonts over here to the left. Um, there are tons of fonts to choose from, thousands even. So, you know, go ahead and pick one. That will change that there. Alrighty. Now, we have some op other options over here to the right. Your position option lets you move it up, down, left, and right. Size option lets you make it bigger or smaller. The rotate option lets you spin it to any degree that you want. And the align ones over here will align it in the center, top center, or very, very center. Alrighty, all of these other text items are all the same editable way as the team name. So, for instance, if we wanted to change this player, we'd be able to change the font, be able to change the color, and we'd be able to change the outline color. There's also bold, italics, all the same stuff. Anyways, so let's say you want to add another piece of text into a template. What you're going to have to do, there are two options for this. Let's say you're, you're adding another player and you want this writing to be exactly the same as what you're going to be importing right now. What you need to do is you need to come and you need to click on that and you need to go to copy, selected you need to go to paste. What that's going to do is it's going to bring it in right there in the center for you. And that way you have an exact duplicate which you can go in and edit text and change the text accordingly. Go ahead and get rid of that. Okay. You can also go to add text and put in whatever text you want. We'll just say test, add text. 
it will import it here. Now, it's pretty much all the same options as before. You can change the colors, you can change the fonts, you can change just about anything on it. There's also a few neat effects that you can mess with over here. Um, I would highly suggest you put an outline on any text that you put into your banner because it helps it stand out from the background. There you go. So that just shows you an example of what of how to import your own text. Yeah, so that's enough. All right, let's move on. Next, I'm going to be talking about layering, which pretty much means See how this Dragonite right here is behind this text? Well, what if I wanted him in front of the text? What I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find my Dragonite on my layers thing down here. And I'm going to have to move him up above the name layer. Either that or I can keep him behind it or in front of it. See what I mean? And that's pretty much the the concept of layering. It's all exactly the same as, see how this Pokeball is behind this writing? In order to change that, let's say you wanted the Pokeball in front of the writing, you would just go ahead and change it the same way in the layers as, you, as I just showed you with the Dragonite and the team name. <music> Moving on. Let's say you do not like this background and you just want to add a different one. What you're going to have to do is you're going to have to scroll down, find the background here. It's usually going to be the bottom layer because it's the one farthest to the back of everything on the banner. You have to go ahead and click on this little X here. Hit OK. And what that's going to do is it's going to completely delete that background. Now we're going to go to Add Design. Wait for everything to load. You're going to go to backgrounds. And you're going to find an appropriate background. You can choose whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and choose this one, let's say. That's going to do it. It's going to bring in that background. Let's size it to how big we want it which means we want it to fill the whole screen. There you go. Now, you do notice that the background just came in and it's in front of everything else you've already designed up to this point. What we're going to have to do is, since this is on the top layer now, we need to move it all the way down to the bottom. Unfortunately, there's no quicker way to do this, but it's okay because it only takes 30 seconds to do this anyway. Alrighty. Once we've made it all the way to the bottom, that's how you change your background. Now, let's say you don't want Pikachu here. You want to add something else in there. You would do pretty much the same thing. You would go ahead and find Pikachu on your layers, which he's probably down here somewhere. We go ahead and delete him. Let's get rid of that soccer ball too. Now, what you do is go to Add Design, Clip Art. And there are tons and tons of clip arts to choose from. Don't worry about the black backgrounds. Once you click on them, it becomes a transparent background. So don't worry about there being black all over the place whenever you uh, go to import something. Let's say I want to put in for the heck of it, we'll put Mario in there. Now what we can do is we can resize Mario and put him there. Also, when you import your own clip art into a template, it allows you to customize the colors. So let's say I wanted to make him green Mario, or if I wanted to make him green and purple Mario, we can go ahead and do that. Once you're done designing your banner, all you have to do is come here to either save layout and that will save it to your personal account. Email design will export a 
a picture of it and send it to whoever you want to in order for them to see it as well, such as your coaches, your team moms, or whoever. But if you don't need to get anybody's approval, just go ahead and come up here to add to cart and then just follow the checkout process and you're all set. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please go ahead and refer to our Frequently Asked Questions tab on our homepage. And if all else fails, give us a phone call or shoot us an email and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.